the step-by-step -step video on how to install Ubuntu 20.04 on VirtualBox over Windows 11. Welcome to another video from Softech Online. If you liked this video, give a like, comment, and consider subscribing to our channel to watch more such tricks and tips related to computers and mobiles. In this video we will be learning how to download and install VirtualBox on Windows 10 and install Ubuntu 20.04 on the VirtualBox over the Windows 10. Once we complete the installation of Ubuntu, we will get the Ubuntu desktop like this, and as you see the desktop size is not going full screen when we are trying to do so. We will be resolving this issue as well during the installation. Stay tuned and watch the complete video. Open your browser and type VirtualBox and press enter. Click on the first link Oracle VM VirtualBox. Then click on the download VirtualBox 6.1. Then select the platform as Windows hosts. The installation package will start downloading and this will take few minutes to complete depending on your internet speed. Once the downloading is completed, go to the browser again and type Ubuntu and press enter. Click on the first link Ubuntu Enterprise Open Source and Linux. Go to Downloads and under Desktop section, click on 20.04 LTS to start the downloading of Ubuntu installation ISO package. Now we have both these downloaded files ready to start the installation process. First we will install the VirtualBox 6.1 on Windows 10 by double-clicking on the installation package. Leave all the settings at default and continue the process. Leave all the settings at default and continue the process. You will be getting this warning. That you will lose your internet connectivity for a while during this installation process, so make sure there are no internet activities is currently going on. Else please complete any running internet activity like downloading or any work before continuing this installation process. Click on install to install this USB device driver. Now start the virtual machine by opening the VirtualBox app. And click on new icon to create a virtual machine to install our Ubuntu. Give a name for the machine like Ubuntu 20.04 and keep the folder path as it is if you don't want to change it. The type and version will be automatically selected according to the name you specified above. Click next to continue. Now you can adjust the RAM size according to your requirement. The green mark indicates the safest amount of RAM can be selected with respect to the available resource of your system. Now create a virtual disk for Ubuntu installation. Select this virtual disk image option and continue. Select dynamically allocate the size of disk. So that the disk image size will gradually increase until the specified size is reached. Keep the disk size as per your need. Here I am putting the size as 100 gigabytes for now. If you wish to change the storage location of disk image you can do from here. Now we have successfully created the virtual machine. Now go to settings, under the advanced tab, make these two settings as bidirectional. This will allow you to drag and drop or copy and paste files between your Windows machine and the virtual machine. Now go to storage section, we need to attach the downloaded Ubuntu ISO file to the IDA controller here. Select the empty IDA optical disk controller, and click the optical drive menu, and select choose disk image file option. Now select our downloaded Ubuntu ISO image file and click open.
Now the virtual machine is ready with our Ubuntu CD image loaded. Click OK to continue. Now click on Start to boot the virtual machine and start installing Ubuntu from the image. You can close these notifications. Select your language from the welcome window and click on install Ubuntu. Then select the keyboard layout also and click on continue. Enable install additional third party driver option also and continue the process. Select this erase disk and install Ubuntu option. This will not delete anything on your windows partition. It will prepare only the allocated virtual disk space, so don't worry about any data loss from Windows 10. Click continue to start installation. Select your location and continue. Now fill your name, username and the password here. and press continue. The installation process is completed now, click on this restart now button. Now press enter to restart the virtual machine. Click on your username and enter the password to access Ubuntu desktop. During first boot of Ubuntu, you will be getting this message. Click on skip and next, next until you get done. Now we got the Ubuntu desktop, but as you can see here, the desktop is not showing on full screen. To get the full screen desktop, we need to do the following procedures now. Click on the app menu and search for terminal. And type following command in the terminal prompt. Type sudo apt install build essential dkms linux headers dollar and in brackets u name minus r. You can find this command line in the description below. It will ask for the password, enter your password and press y when asked. Once completed, close this terminal window. Now go to Devices menu and click on Insert Guest Editions CD Image. Click on Run. Enter the password and authenticate. Once done, press Enter to close this window. Now we need to shut down the virtual machine and restart. Do not press restart button. Now start the virtual machine again. Let us check the desktop by make it full screen. Yes, the desktop is now coming in full screen. With this, we have completed the installation and configuration of Ubuntu 20.04 on VirtualBox 6.1 over the Windows 10 platform. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give a like to this video and subscribe to our channel for watching more such tech related videos.